wonder what a Game of Thrones beer would taste like? Well, Oma Yang Brewery brings George R.R. Martin's works to life with beers such as Fireblood Red Ale pays tribute to House Targaryen's fierce dragons and Take the Black Stout, inspired by Night's Watch. Brewmaster Mike Manis brew the beer specifically with the same intensity of the wall itself. Rich, bold, and designed to keep you warm through the hardest winters. Stephen King may be a master of horror, but did you know he also has a love for craft beer? Hailing from Maine, he often enjoys a craft beer from his home state, including what is reported his favorite brewery, Allagash Brewery. Double fun fact, Allagash White actually made a spooky appearance in the 2019 Pet Cemetery. <laughs> Flying Dog's Gonzo Imperial Porter is more than just a beer. It is a celebration to Hunter S. Thompson's legacy. Featuring Stedman's iconic skeleton artwork, this beer has deep, bold flavors that are as rebellious and complex as Hunter S. Thompson himself. They've even sold signed versions of this beer by Stedman himself, with proceeds going to the Gonzo Foundation, promoting activism of Hunter S. Thompson, keeping his spirit alive. From Davy Burns Pub to Mulligan's, James Joyce's Ulysses is a love letter to Dublin's pub culture. Pubs are the backdrop to some of the novel's most memorable scenes. And while Guinness isn't explicitly stated, Joyce later weaves playful references to this iconic brew in Finnegan's Wake. Ever wonder what kind of pub Neil Gaiman would like? He describes it as dark, warm, with the charm of wooden beams. His love for these places often comes out in his storytelling where everyday places can often turn into extraordinary adventure. Imagine sitting in a cozy Oxford pub with J.R.R. Tolkien and C.S. Lewis. These legendary authors commonly met up at the Eagle and the Child with their literacy group called the Inklings. In the 1930s and the 1940s, they shared drafts of the Lord of the Rings and Chronicles of Narnia had spirited debates in this exact pub, creating some of the best works in fantasy writing. 